So I was just thinking that mine, I think, is quite, particularly at the moment, is quite sort of careful and guarded and I'm kind of very clear about what I want before. My work is, um, was originally from a project called Los Alores, which is Guernsey French or Genesies for um, the myths, and it's called uh, Myths in the, in the Exhibition. And I enjoy seeing um, or envisioning stories in my head and particularly kind of thinking about how those images then might link into stories and myths that I enjoy or I feel that are important to me. I don't think I so much go about um, creating um, paintings to fit yeah. a story or a myth, but I have an idea of an image I want and then I think, wow, that reminds me of yeah. the, you know, Odin or Loki or um, Athena. And then I kind of sort of like kind of push it in that direction. So is that, it's interesting because it links almost to kind of, um, well, not fa fairy tales in a way and how they kind of like may relate to everyday life. Definitely, or fairy tales gonna... are a really big interest of mine. I was interested in what you were saying about photography as well, about your, um, how you created these images, sort of based but not copied mm. photographs. Yeah, inspired by but not, yeah. I, I do a lot of that as well, because photography is a, is a big, uh, I teach photography, I'm interested in the history of photography, and uh, it's a big part of my work. So a lot of the conversations I come up with are discovered through photographing, yeah. but I don't necessarily, um, I use the photograph, but it's kind of more of a guide. And it's also, I also use a lot of sort of composite images. So I put lots of different photographs together.